Rabbits. Making my way through the hood with your boo. All his homeboys think I'm cute. You cannot convince me otherwise that Sexy Red is not an industry plant that was put here to help finalize the destroying of the black woman image. They was already had us under attack and she was here to just finalize the process. The way they trying to force her on us is just crazy. Like I wanted to go see Drake, but once I found out Drake had her opening for him, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not am I gonna support anything that that, that thing is behind. I'm, I'm not supporting it, right? This is the reason why it's time to separate. It's time to separate as black women because ain't no way I'm about to be associated with that as Suki Stankiana. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you feel. At this point, separation has to happen. It's one thing to make trashy music. That is a different level of trash. That's a different level of trash. Kaya's My Neck, My Back, it was bad. Uh, Trina and Trick Daddies, you know, Nan, it was bad, but that that's a different level of dirty stank music, right? It, it's just a different level. Like it ain't never been that bad. There is lyrically nothing that this woman is saying. She's just saying a bunch of vulgar, disgusting, nasty stuff. It's not even music, right? And this is why I know that she's an industry plant. It, it is not music at this point, right? It's just, she can, it's just seeing how much nasty vulgar stuff she can come up with out of her mouth and how disgusting and distasteful she could present herself in public to help destroy the black woman image right trying to portray it as if we all pukishas and if you don't think that this is successful just look at what hip-hop and stuff did to black men and how it had people stereotyping black men as criminals and thugs right even to this day black men are still fighting to get away from that stereotype but as of now, black women are under attack because this Pukisha image that's being pushed is what they trying to define us by. You ain't going to define me by that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. If they want to be ratchet, stank, ghetto, promote that, do you, right? And the sector of girls who fall under that category and that aesthetic, have fun with it. I don't want no parts. And the other halfway decent women don't want no parts of it either. Like this whole narrative that's being pushed that all black women are so hypersexual because every time you cut on your radio, every time you cut on your TV, all you see is these over hypersexual black women. That is bad. That is bad. And y'all don't understand what that can lead to. The same way promoting thugs and criminals hurt black men because it led to a stereotype of making people believe that all black men were that is the same way this will hurt black women and making people believe that we are all over hypersexual, right? And you don't even see the bigger picture, but it's very much problematic. No other community uplifts the worst of the worst of their community. You will never see non-black women uplift trailer park trash and allow women who trailer park trash to be the face of them. You'll never let them see them tarnish their image that way right but not us not us we'll let pukisha get the limelight we'll support it we'll get behind it we'll sing the trash music we'll stream the trash music we'll repost the trash music we think it's funny right we think it's funny until you see the results that come from it when you see the trickle down effect of what comes from promoting that image of the person of, of the people that you are right i'm not behind it i don't support it i don't respect it it's disgusting